This is Gold's Gym Cardio Workout for the Nintendo Wii. Probably not a game you'd expect to see here on Classic Game Room, but like many of you, I spend the majority of my day in an office chair staring at computer screens. A lot of computer screens. And although I walk a mile or two every day because if I didn't, my dog would tear the house to shreds, I certainly don't do much in the way of boxing training. Oh, and check this one music track out. It reminds me of the music from Musha for the Sega Genesis. And when I was given the opportunity to review Gold's Gym Cardio Workout, I have to admit, I was actually pretty excited because I like playing games that get me up off the couch. I like playing video games, most of which just involve me staring at the screen, controlling somebody with the D-pad, blowing up monsters and robots. I was all for trying out Gold's Gym Cardio Workout, and for what this game is designed to do, it works very well. If all you want to do is sit in the couch and play a first-person shooter, you're not going to like this. If you're looking for something that's kind of fun to play and keep you motivated to exercise for about a half hour to an hour every day, this is a great game disc to look at. It may look a little cheesy on the surface, but when you actually start playing it, I think you'll find out that even on the beginner level, if you don't do much in the way of uh, uh, cardio training like this, it'll give you a good workout. Yeah. Ready? One, two, ready? One, two, break her. Stop, keep moving. Ready? One, two, ready? One, two, go. Now add up. The game constantly has you shifting your weight back and forth, and I always just think of the Bruce Lee films where he's always bouncing back and forth before he kicks the living crap out of people. But you don't, you don't bounce around quite that much. You shift your weight back and forth, and that keeps your heart rate going, all the while throwing a variety of different punches at the screen in time. It's like Guitar Hero with punches. You can play the game with two Wii remotes or a Wii remote and the nunchuck. I'm using two Wii remotes, which I would recommend because you don't want that wire hanging down while you're really throwing punches because in order for the punches to register, you've actually got a punch like there's someone standing in front of you who just insulted your Street Fighter skills. The game has daily lessons and you start off at a beginner level, which is what I'm starting off at here. And also you can go back and play different individual lessons or individual routines if you'd like. The exercise workouts were about a half hour, but you can really tailor them to whatever you'd like to do. If you watch any boxing, or at least have watched the Rocky films, I don't watch any boxing, but I've seen all the Rocky movies up to number four. I haven't really bothered to watch any after that. I mean, there's no way they could get better than Rocky IV. <laughs> Not even possible. You throw jabs, you throw hooks, uppercuts. When you start getting to the more advanced levels, you're moving forward and backward, all the while trying to keep your back and forth movement in time with the music. The lessons start you off slowly and then work you up into more complex combinations. My physical age is 22 awesome, which is kind of funny because when I was 22, my physical age would have probably been more like 103. Sadly, drinking beer, playing Tekken 2, and eating pizza every day is not necessarily good for your heart. Two. Ready? Jab. Uppercut. Guard up. Uppercut. Ready? Jab. Uppercut. Guard up. Uppercut. One, two, one, two. Let's do four more. I'm in decent shape from walking, but the morning after I played this game the first time, all the muscles that you would use or that I used to pull my arm back after punches in my back hurt like hell. So it clearly did something. I like to exercise, but the hardest part of exercising is keeping with a daily routine. Which is why having a dog is so good, because it simply forces me to get out. If I don't, I'll find my couch shredded into little pieces. Twist and upper. One, two, upper. For those of you that don't have a dog, or at least have difficulty staying motivated, I like Gold's Gym Cardio Workout for the simple fact that it shows you your daily point count, or your daily punch count, I should say. You can see your cumulative punch count since you started playing the game. You unlock different outfits for the characters and your character, and obviously you can make your character a man or a woman and you enter in your height and weight and age. I like the workouts, and while I would prefer to be eliminating wave after wave of enemy alien spaceships using my Sega Genesis controller, the workouts in this game are pretty cool because they're not just like running or stair climbing or something that gets boring incred incredibly fast. 
It's kind of like swimming in a way where you're using your arms, you're using your back, you're using all of the muscles in your body rather than just your legs. And besides, when you actually get into a real fight after losing a game of Street Fighter 2, this game will help you out and you'll be able to kick somebody's ass that much easier. I mean, how dare they insult Chun-Li in front of you? Not that that's ever happened to me. I'm just saying it could happen and you'll be prepared because you've played Gold's Gym Cardio Workout. This game is compatible with the Wii Fit board. Classic Game Room does not have a Wii Fit yet, so I couldn't try that out. But there are other exercises and training routines in addition to just the boxing. There's jump roping. And the one I liked is the one where you dodge punches being thrown at you from a robot. This game can't be all bad if it has Eye of the Tiger and robots throwing punches at you. Whether or not you like Gold's Gym Cardio Workout, you cannot ignore those two facts. Robots and Survivor. The best feature of the game is that it's interesting enough to keep you motivated to play it every day. And that's the key to any successful workout. Well that and the ability to use ninja swords to destroy waves of zombies. I'm hoping that'll be the sequel, Gold's Gym Ninja Cyborg Samurai Zombie Death Slayer Workout 2.